Hey guys, welcome back. Look who I have tonight. So this is another thread up mystery unboxing. This is another mixed men's clothing. So my last one, if you watched it, was underwhelming, right? It was the one, there was just nothing yeah, great, I'm not you know. I've not been impressed by these. That things. one, um, there was like a big coat in it so that was more. junk. So my first one was amazing, right? With the shoes. Just, I see, I forget like what. It came with those Nikes and the Pumas. And so the okay. first box, the first men's box, I actually only spent $90. So my cost of goods was like $3.90. So that, no, no. Oh, sorry. Um, that was another box. And that box, the first one, I'm really behind on listing, you guys. You should see the amount of items. I will say it's because we did our whole inventory. I relisted a lot of items and took a lot of photos and pictures that aren't, uh, I already had listed, okay? So that's kind of cut back on my listing of the brand new items. So that first box, I've only listed four items. I've sold three of them and that box is already completely paid for and I've got a stack of items still to list from that. So that was a win. The next box, I've not listed a single piece. It, I gave several pieces away to a friend for her kids. So that was a nice gesture. She provides me if with- If you don't say so yourself. Yes, she, well, she provides me with wine often at her house. So I figure it was, you know, give a little kind of thing and they weren't items that were worthy of listing. And then we took a couple pieces to a local consignment and I think we got like $8. <laughs> so the last men's box where the price went up to $110 was a bust. So I figure one crappy, one good, let's do it one more time. Third time's a charm. Just to see, because I watch a lot of these unboxings, it's late y'all, just excuse this. And some people get awesome boxes. So let's do it babe. Awesome box. Let's do it. Come on. Okay. You can, you want to drop it here? Drop it like a top right there? I mean, I can't because it's like 50 pounds or something. 25, right? but I mean, I think sometimes they're a little heavier. This one it came, solid. I don't remember where the other two came. I do try to put that in the description. This one came from Phoenix. Phoenix oh, is not a- I say that's a bad reputation place. Uh, I mean, you know, it's kind of a hit it's or One Atlanta boxes. Swanee. Swanee? Swanee, Georgia. Sometimes. I don't know. It's hard to say. Okay. So. Listen, I was having a serious conversation with someone. Okay. No, wait, talk to me. First thing. What is going on already? <laughs> what is this? I know what brand that is. Do you? But it's missing the back button, I can see. That's a big size though. 40. 40? True religion. True. How do you know? Because I can read. <laughs> Hooked on phonics. So these are pretty cool. These were cool when we first got married. So like a million years ago, but look. I mean, in the eye beholder, I never thought that. Both of the back buttons are missing. And I don't blame them for getting rid of the back buttons because I had jeans like this and those buttons snagged on everything. Oh, so they intentionally cut them off? Maybe because off? they left the one on the front. So are these worth anything? I don't know. I don't know. I'll I mean, list them and see because. 10 bucks. Sure. Let's roll with it. Um, yes. Let's roll, baby. All right. Oh, new with tags. $149. FJ. What, do you know what that is? Footjoy. Footjoy? The golf brand. Oh, okay. So, like, that's good. Footjoy Dry Joys. So, it's like a, it's a rain jacket to play golf in. Oh, okay. Size extra large, which is a good size. Brand new, but brand new doesn't always mean without flaws, so... That's a good item? Yeah, I think so. Okay. People are always trying to play golf. I mean, we live in Florida. It's a good place for it. Okay. Well, that's a win. I bet it sells local. You think? Yeah. Do you think, how much do you think I can sell it for if it retails for $150? What is that? Do you recognize that store? Where it was sold? No, no clue. Hydrolite. Waterproof. Okay, and it has the name, so that's nice. Yeah, All right. I don't, I think, it, I mean, I feel like jackets always do well. Like, so I need to make $110. Plus well, profit. So, yeah, I mean, you're going to get out of the jacket, but oh. I mean, what, you get like 50%, right, usually? Yeah, I mean, I try. If, if so. someone's brand new with the tags, depending on what it is, I have 50% is a good So 50 plus looking at. Is, I hope so. Well, just under 50%. But okay, so this is um, my favorite thing. I, we Actually, I did list the cashmere one that you found. This so this guy, I did we do a haul video on that? I think I did. 
the cashmere jacket. Yeah, probably. I don't know, but I did. I do have that listed. My problem is I don't have a proper location. Give me credit. I did. I think I did because it talked about how I sit in a look for jackets. Stop it. Um, I don't have a proper place to take photos of dresses and long things because I started as just doing kids stuff. So that's kind of my. Anyway, this you need is a model to wear this stuff for you for photos. I do Brooks Brothers? But does Brooks Brothers have vintage? Because person. I feel like these these are paper tags in here. I don't know. I was looking to see the material. I don't see the material in this one. You can grab the next thing. Dry clean only made in the USA. Okay. Some dockers. Do people really pay $72 for dockers? Old white guys. <laughs> That's who wears those. 30 by 32. That's kind of your size. You're getting up there. I'm getting up there. You're not ready for this? I am nowhere near okay. wearing dockers. Okay. Hopefully, one day. One day or never? Hopefully never. <laughs> All right. Well, these actually, for khakis, y'all, like, these are a supreme flex straight fit. I don't know. I, I mean, I would assume I could sell them. This is, so, so store. I'm putting Michael in charge of eBay, and I think I've got a few men's pieces listed, and I do think as I start listing the men's items, like, his job is going to be to kind of cross-post them to eBay and see. Apparently, dude shop on eBay. Yes, and the wives. I don't. The wives shop on Poshmark. Um, which, like, that's smarter. Like, the apps are so much better than eBay. eBay is where it's at, though. I mean, it's global. That's where most people are All shopping. The apps are global, though, are they not? No. They can only download here? They can, yeah. Like, I think Poshmark has, like, a European version or a Canadian version. Uh -oh. but All right, learn something. Yeah. All right. eBay has the global shipping program. Your turn. Oh, my turn. Ooh. Yeah. I like the feel. They feel like a water wicking. If you like something you would wear. Yeah, and I like, I already see this uh, oh, you like? adjustable belt. He does a lot of yard work, lake work, all that stuff. Free Soldier is the brand. Not something I've heard of, but they do have like a, a BDU pants type feel to them. I don't know if they're ripped stop. It doesn't look like they're the ripped stop. Are they your size? Um, they look big. Uh, I'm not seeing the size. Here oh, we go. Truck. 34. Yeah. No, so I got him a pair of swim trunks today, y'all. 30s. 30s this guy he's like shrinking with age sorry it's ridiculous that's a bummer because i yeah so i wear those they'd, nice. they'd be good camping yeah pants, so cargo hiking pants, i know a lot of dudes that are into camping though and i'm sure color mud 34s quick dry tactical pants so new with tags that's nice so, i'll okay. talk my scout beds uh no you won't because we're gonna list this for sale don't be giving away my stuff i'm saying maybe they want to buy oh, like they should buy. get first dibs at buying oh, it okay Oh, for your yeah, okay. He does go camping. He this this guy right here is a, in charge of some scout business. All right, what are these? Banana Republic Legacy. Thirty three, thirty two slim fit. Will that fit you? No, still would not. You used to wear thirty three, thirty for a little while. I had a heavy face. <laughs> I can't with this you guy. You called me fluffy. Okay. And then it abruptly emptied. Stop. I did and not call you fluffy. I, you absolutely said. Anyway, these are nice. You're getting a little fluffy. Moving on. I've always been bigger than you, so it doesn't even matter. Your turn. All right. I'm <laughs> did I go, want a drink in here? I'm going for this one just because I did. I just see this little bit of a Oh, my shirt. Tail. I always show my shirts, and I'm trying to get my drink. I want it all, and I want it delivered. All right. I don't know this brand. It looks like ODO. I don't know if it's actually ODO auto or if it's just you know here's what I see the tag sticking through the back of the shirt yep they got jabbed through why did they do that who did that though the actual company did that. yeah look like, at it why I hate like, it's like when you go to Goodwill I swear I almost bought three things at Goodwill today three different things and they put the tag through the shirt and so it leaves a hole now sometimes it, it comes the out but so what even what Can we is talk this? about this red dragon on this though like is it legit? Someone might think it Um, is. but what what happened? Did he really have a fire blowout back there? Whoa, yeah, hold on, people. <laughs> Check this out. The dragon got a little hot. Oh my gosh. So garbage. I'll, I'll, so tomorrow when I drive through downtown, I'm gonna hand this to the homeless person. That's nice, babe. Because I mean you do drive through downtown. Let's face it, they'll that's a still, little hole in the back. Still it's usable, yeah. It's like, usable. You're not going to sell that. We're not, I'm not going to donate it to a Goodwill because they're not going to be able to sell it or anything either. But we'll, this guy, he's always thinking we'll about others. 
Yeah. Okay, Old Navy, new with the tag. Still dragging. 32 by 34, Old Navy, flex, built-in flex, fit, just some khakis. A lot of pants. Um, Is it because we're at the end of winter? Like they're getting right, rid of inventory? Right up doesn't take men's clothing, remember? So if it's up that fits but in. It just seems like the box, so they put a lot of pants in it. Oh, That's I mean. There's no shorts yet. My experience, now this is only my third one, um, is like, I always feel like I get a lot of stuff from the same person. Remember the last box, everything was like tiny. The shoe, there was a couple pairs of shoes, they were all the same size. Yeah. So. Could be all from the same, could be. same dude. Yeah. Your turn. All right. Okay. I got another waterproof feeling type material here. Please be good. Jacket. Marmot? What is that? I don't know. Is that good? I mean, it feels like a nice jacket, though. What is like, that? This is like a... Oh, no, it's been stolen. Uh, the Man. security tag! How do we get that off without shooting ink everywhere? I don't so. know! But I need to try, because it definitely has, like, weatherproof zippers on it. Like, this is a very nice it's jacket. That, oh, it's Gore-Tex, which yeah. I know is good, but what in the world? The Where is that? Up. Where? How did I find that? Just saw it. Not on the one, inside this way. The it's just inside the pocket. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel. Oh, there it is. The whole thing. Does the whole thing. On it? No, it's just. How do we get that off? I mean, I'm sure Google will tell you, but. I think I so, might be able to get my uh, some cutters up in there. So, okay, I guess it's new with tag. Marmot. Anything with Gore Tex I know is good. Marmot. 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 See, we're here in Florida, and it wasn't until reselling that I learned what even Patagonia and North Face was. We, we just, don't own jackets. We don't have that here. What's a jacket? Size medium. But, no, it's a nice weight. Very but nice, a little dirty on the sleeve. This sleeve is dirty. Yeah. Even though it's got a security tag. So, clearly, someone stole it, wore it, and now we have it. They ran from the popos. Oh, my gosh. And got their arm dirty. All right. So, what we got? Maybe this was evidence. Stop. All right, a Nike zip up. I don't know Nike. I don't know how to tell things are new, old, extra, extra large. Big boy. But it doesn't look big. It's it's for the wide guys that aren't tall. Hmm. Well, oh, it smells lovely. Someone did laundry. That's nice. Sometimes things don't smell that great. It's really surprised you sniffed it. I would not. Well, because when I did this, it, I got a whiff. And it already smelled I mean, a little you know, bit. In science, like you're never supposed Stop. to sniff something. You're supposed to waft it. Well, it did waft to me first. And then you went full nose in. Stop. Okay, so a Nike zip up. That's good. I can at least get 10 bucks for that. Perfect. Right. Your turn. Do you see what I see right now? Garbage. This came from the same dude. Because somebody likes dragons. This it's is from not, the same sort. This is not good. This ODO again. Okay, but did the dragon eat through this one? Is there? Oh, this one feels. Did that one feel thick like this? This feels like a jacket. Look at this. Like thicker. It's not it's just a, what, a polo. Okay, but is there a hole? Is there a this hole? one doesn't smell good. I'm gonna have to look this up. But I mean, the what do they call those smaller eclectic stores? Like, like it's not a chain, you know? This like, oh look, and the tag is right through the back. Why did they do that? Like, I don't understand. Why couldn't they have put the tag through this? So this one's an extra large. What size was that one? Some dude really liked dragons, though. Maybe. What size? This one actually is kind of shiny. I don't know. It's from the same store. It's like that's the same. Person. Has, what do you think? It's got to be. Is that one an extra large? Uh, this was actually a medium. Oh, okay. Maybe this store been out of business because no one's buying their dragon <laughs> oh, shirts. No. And they okay. Sent their stuff. Oh, okay. Look, I got me something vintage, baby. Pe vintage is in. Look at this. Look at this tag. Paper tag. Size large. Why Classics. Is, why is it vintage? Because it's a paper tag? Yeah. Classics by Palmland. And because it says made in the USA. Ain't nothing made in the USA these days. That's true. Okay. Here we go. Classics by Palmland. Look at this. This is, look, this is in. Do we see any holes? Mm, no. Look, this is what we, people call like grandpa feels, sweaters. It feels itchy. This is 80s. Fabulous right here. Maybe like 90s. I feel like I remember my dad wearing something like this. There's no... It feels like a blanket grandma needed you. <laughs> I don't see a size or like a hair tag or anything. All right, well... It's with love, that's why. I, well, that's it. Oh, it's cotton and flax. I don't know. But yeah, vintage, flaxseed? maybe. Vintage is good, so... Someone's gonna want that. Someone will want that. They want retro. Yeah, your turn. All right. Right off the top, we got 
That's a cool logo. Psycho Bunny. Mm. Oh, that, that will sell good. Is that a good 20, 30 bucks, yeah. It's a nice feeling shirt. Just Looks a, very tiny. Just a regular polo. What yeah. size is that? Um, a three. A three. 100% Pima cotton, it said. Whatever that means. I, I really like that, though. I kind of want some of these shirts just because that's a cool logo. A three. Is this a Molly, woman's? Molly would like that. No, it's a men's. It's got a bunny ears. She loves bunny. Okay, so I'll have to look at their size chart. Nice quality, though. Like the oh, look! soft material. Double dragons. Well, we're at, now we're at triple dragons because this is the third one. And again, randomly, this is another extra large, though. Made in Korea. Dragon chest, red. Price, $14 from their little store. From ODO. From ODO. Okay. Well, did the dragon eat this one? Now I'm like paranoid. There's a dragon fire hole. No, just that one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Well, at least this like, is more like a silk. Feel. Maybe like who would love this kind of stuff? People that are into like martial arts. Is that a thing? Or, or is there still like anime? Is that a thing? No. I'm going back to the dude that wears Dockers. Come close to me. You're you look. went on a vacation <laughs> somewhere in Asia. And you bought and a couple sizes for everybody in his family. A bunch of dragon shirts. Okay, it's your turn. Oh my gosh. But can I make $110 back? I mean, the there was a good pair of pants. Okay. Oh, we yeah. We had two good jackets in there so far. Okay. And, and you got the Psycho Bunny, Psycho Bunny okay, shirt okay. that you said. So on our inventory shirt sheet, which, y'all, if you didn't watch okay. my inventory, like, it's legit, thanks to this guy. We'll have to do legit. a... Legit. Like, when I sit down to do, I'm going to list all of this. You'll have to put some kind of code so that I can see, like, exactly what was in this box, you know? Because oh, we've got Thread Up Rescue thread up. as a... Right. But, but, oh, the date. I guess the date and Thread yeah, Up Rescue. Oh, okay. Yeah. True. See? You oh, got it. You got to figure got it out. I got you, it. You didn't need my help. As long as I don't have 17 more pairs right. of dress pants. Something pan. dry fit. Or button ups. Those are the worst. So Nike dry fit. Nike golf, it says. Let's see that? Yeah, right there in the... Oh, I'm trying to unzip it a little. Oh, yeah. There. Inside the collar, so Nike... Golf. golf is good. This looks Drive tiny, it. my size. So it looks, yeah, it looks actually, it says small. That's gotta okay. be a men's. This is a small, but y'all. That's not a men's. This is a women's small. So it came in the men's box, but that's okay. That happens sometimes. I mean, we'll take it because that'll sell. Yeah. Two. I mean, it doesn't say women's, but this is definitely, it's definitely women's. women's. Like, how would you know? Is it tapered on the. Just like you said, just the size of it. It's yeah. It's so. way too snug. There are women golfers. There okay. are. That's a fact. It's a fact? Sure. All right. statement. Oh. That looks retro. It sure does. Gap Factory Store. This is this is old school right here. 100% cotton. This is an old button-up right here. But this is the first button-up we've had. Been so in somebody's closet for a while. For a long well, time. Well, the dragon. I mean, all button-ups. Yeah, but I'm like button-up dress shirts. I don't know what you would call those. Oh. This is very thick. Business wear? This is business. Oh, from 2001 fall. Straight up vintage. Wow. So I'm gonna list this as years. Y2K. Look, some cute little 20 year, 21 year old girl could take this and like do the whole crop deal and like DIY this. I bet you. All right. Five dollars right here, y'all. Cool. Make that money back. All right. It's your turn. Oh boy. Stop. We're not done with the dragons, folks. Make it stop. Now we have blue dragon. So we had. Orange and red dragon. At least are they all different? Silver dragon, red dragon. This one's a large though. They're not even all the same size. The store went out of business. I'm telling you. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh, babe. Did the dragon eat it? The dragon ate this one. Oh, we did have a dragon get hungry. Like, is this even intentional? <laughs> like, does that have something to do with the mannequins? Like, are they on a rod? I don't know. Cut holes in these shirts? It, it literally looks the same as that right other up one. Right rescue, though, quality control. That's what I'm talking about. Come two, on. Two shirts with huge holes in it? Like. That's lame. I can't even try to get $5 for that now. Garbage. Oh, homeless guy. Okay. But uh, homeless people shouldn't just get garbage. Let's clarify. That's what I'm saying. We, so we do donate a lot to charities and things like that. I get so. food more. We, yeah, so. But I, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm just real excited, like, in three weeks from now, I'll be driving through downtown and see somebody who's gonna go, Dragon! Like, when I see someone wearing this shirt. Stop, babe. I mean, awesome. To okay, what kind of, this is a men's box, right? Look at this. What is going on? It looks like, is it a robe? It looks like a baseball shirt. Okay. But 
Silky. Oh, Supreme. What is that? That's like, okay, so I don't have anything, but I know that's like, they make expensive shoes and stuff. Like, that's a Supreme? thing. Supreme? Yeah. Well, it looks like their dog I'm, slept on it. I'm sorry, I'm not that cool, but people watching this are going to know. They're going to Extra, like, extra large, Supreme. Oh, it's new with the tag. Yeah, that's a thing. $128. I told you, it's like a thing. Satin baseball jersey, black. Come on. So that's a good deal. Medium. I'm cool with that. I mean, if I can lit roll their dog off of it. You see the dog hairs? What do you mean? It's everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah, there are little fibers in there. But, I mean, it's satin kind of pulls, but why? It just says supreme? Like, that's a thing? Yes. You're, after this video, you're going to Google it. You're going to go, oh my God. Shoot, was this going to pay for what my box? It? This deal right here? What is all this stuff? But why would you wear this? Don't you usually like like a particular team or. People want to know. They wear stuff like this because it just says Supreme and, like, you know, people <laughs> know it's expensive. Oh. Yeah, you know. All right, then. my style, but people do their thing. All right. Ooh. Is this like a set? Mm -hmm. I'm going to grab these things together because I think it, it goes together. I think I got some uh, Pat Pat. Pat Pat is what AKA is Pat Pat? AliExpress, AKA China Cheapy, like, awful. It says made in China. What is it? Is it Christmas? It's PJs. Merry Christmas with ta-da matching pants. Now listen, we do matching PJs every year, and I have ordered from a similar company before for them. Also for, I mean, the material doesn't feel bad. Yeah, they're a men's size. They're your size, babe. You're gonna keep Except them. I don't wear PJs. He hates PJs. They're large. These now, let me not be funny. These will sell, but probably not until near the holidays. So they will find their way in a tote until then. But that's a solid 15 bucks, so. All right. It's a good size, though. You know, it's not the triple X. Please like, be something good. A puffer jacket. Uh, Columbia. Okay. Not terrible. Col uh, Columbia's, yeah. It's I a like large. Columbia stuff. Like, my Columbia stuff. But is this a men's? No, that looks like women's, the way it's tapered. Size large. Let's see. Well, well, yeah. That's a woman's. Because I'm a. It's through here because I can tell large. it like, flared out on the bottom. I'm not that large of a human. Oh, okay. So, a women's vest. So, you mess up again, but I'll take it. They messed up, like, and they, but they cut the, tag, they cut the, the inner tag. tag, so I can't, I don't know what the, the material is, which is a bummer. Mm. See, we don't wear stuff like this here in Florida, but I know sometimes I mean, they're down. Fleece. It's definitely fleece. Yeah, and it feels wonderful, but is liner. it feathers or whatever? I'll never know. But it is. Is there women's. any kind of code on this tag that when we search it? Probably not. No. All right, here's your next. Oh, you're just handing me something. No. Yep. Cool. Black denim. We got it. Five eleven. Are those good ones? I don't know. Is that the number we need? I don't know. There's so. Actually, I have a note for that. A minute with that. But this is my size, thirty by thirty-two. But they're black jeans. I don't need black jeans. Um, 560, 501, silver no, tab. No, it's none of those. None so, of those. just another pair of Levi's, Levi's jeans. But some people are buying men's Levi's jeans with girls and cutting them off and making cutoffs and stuff like that. So, okay. Oh, look, babe. Just what you need. Another pair of dockers. Another pair of dockers. 30 by 32. Is that the same? That's the same size. As the, okay, so 72 jeans. bucks on these two. Like, Jeez Louise. What are you, like, why? Oh, sorry, it's dark, so it's so bright in here. Mm -hmm. it's Very not, hot. It's not going to focus at all. Mm -hmm. Nope. Good try. All right, so I will probably lock these up because they look to be identical to the other ones. Supreme Flex. And make a couple bucks, maybe? Maybe. Okay. Your turn. Oh, okay. There's too much up there. Too much up there. This, let's see, we got zip up hoodie maybe okay. not a hoodie just a zip up jogger tommy hill figure that's small so is that actually men's uh it says small yeah i think that's a men's small probably yeah Stab is this y2k status hey, what, what established 1985. i was established in 1985. just saying Oh my gosh. Okay, so is this old, new? Oh, here we go. Got tags. And I don't think this is old. 2017. So. Not vintage, but in decent condition. There's really not a lot of wash wear. I don't know if people still buy Tommy. Yeah, it's not faded or anything. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, clearly people buy Tommy. Someone bought that. 
clearly. Okay, these feel, these feel nice. What are these? Marine layer. Oh, my ducks are home. The ducks are back. I hear them, my boys. I hear them. Marine layer, you ever heard of that? 32 by 30. Marine layer. Did you like the hand trick? It did. It, 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 it focused. 30, what did I say? 32 by 30. These are cute men's jeans. Oh, what is that? Is that a grease spot? Did you see that? Right? Maybe it's just a light. Maybe just a lighting. No, I no, yeah, some, some, yeah, somebody spilled some pizza. They sure did. So maybe I can get that out. But otherwise, I don't have never heard of that. So right. last item, friends. Oh, well, hey there, Patagonia. Okay, but what is that? Feels like a button, a button up. up. Is that? I mean, I know Patagonia shorts and jackets and stuff yeah, as well. Jackets, yeah. What about I a was, button up? Wasn't really sure. I didn't know they made button ups. Men's large looks like it's nice. So it has the Patagonia tag here on the side. Yeah. So. Okay. So they make some casual wear. Well, what do you think, babe? I think it's um, not as good as our first box because we have no shoes. The last two boxes we've had shoes. Yeah. Uh, the first box we had four pairs, three or four pairs of like Nikes, like nice shoes, giant this, Pumas, and I feel like this box was just extreme, like because we had obviously all the dragon shirts with, not to mention they're just tacky, but two completely damaged. Yeah. Um. So that's that's a bust. Other than that, though, nothing but like I said, we got a couple damaged. good jackets, and so. I, think, I guess we'll have to see. I think you're going to be okay. Want to make my money back? I think we'll get a return. I think it's better than the last box for sure. Yeah. The last box was all like old navy stuff so faded you couldn't even read the tag. Like kids, the boys box? No, the last men's box. Remember? It had those size nine navy sh or old navy shoes. It did have those Cole Haan shoes, which I did list. Actually, I have listed those two pairs of shoes. Anyway, well, there you have it. There you have it. I will not be buying another thread up men's mystery box, though. So anytime soon because I've got a lot to list from the first two and now this and I do want to see like what's going to be our return on our investment and I do have another thread up box coming this week just because there was like none available and so I took a chance and got the uh DIY t-shirt box which is their cheapest box it's like 25 bucks it comes with t-shirts I like to wear t-shirts to bed and actually what recently mean, DIY t-shirt box like they're all like handmade shirts like a I watched a video recently. They got like a Vans t-shirt. Basically, well, they don't sell men's anyway, but stuff that they're not going to list on their website. So most of like a lot of people are getting it with tag stuff, just a t-shirt. You don't know. Men's, women's, um, all the ones I've seen, they have been able to make their money back. People buy it to do like tie-dye, bleach tie-dye projects. Um, my goal in buying it is because I don't really have a lot of t-shirts to wear to bed anymore because I decided to get rid of all of my t-shirts. Like that was a good idea. And so now I don't have any. I used to all your t-shirts. Yes, and I used to steal yours, but now you're like shrinking and your t-shirts are not big on me. And I like big t-shirts. So we'll see. That box should be here maybe tomorrow or the next day. And I did finally give in and I bought a DIY denim box. So that's on its way too. So and I've got a box coming from Unclaimed Baggage. So however, it's not even the end of the month yet, and my net profits for this month are. Higher. Way higher in the last two months, even though I took a whole week off to redo our inventory. So, all right, let's get closer. You're blurry. Let them see your beautiful oh, face. Geez, Not I... blurry. There you are. All right, guys, until next time. Bye.